Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter, and today we're here with a bit of Happy Mail. Now, I knew it was arriving, so I know it's from my friend Darcy Sanders in America. Um, Darcy reached out to me and said, Kerry, can I have your address? I want to send you something. I said yes, um, and the tape is obviously covering the relevant addresses. How many postage stamps do you have put on here? That's, that's amazing. Um, so, yes, so yes uh, let's just look at the envelope. This, oops, dropped it. This here and this here, I know, are, and this here are Darcy's newest design of her foam stamps, and I own these stamps. So I'm very happy about that. It was a great job, Darcy. Um, and the rest, bits of doodling. I like the way Darcy decorates envelopes and send them out. I'm not sure in Britain I would do that because it's hard enough getting stuff past the post office as it is. Anyway, I digress. Now, it's funny this should have arrived. It arrived yesterday. And I'll just use a little fruit knife to open this up. And yesterday I was watching one of Darcy's videos because obviously whenever Darcy posts a video, I watch the video. And Darcy was actually making um, a no-sew envelope journal yesterday and I, it intrigued me. And I thought, you know what? I might give that a go. I, I've got a feeling Darcy made it look easy. But you know what, with my attempts of trying to free my creativity and art up, I think I'm going to have a go at that. So um, I'm not going to make this a video series. However, this is going to be the Happy Mail opening. And if there's anything in here I'll use for that um, envelope journal project, um, either I'll use it or to whatever is in here, if I use it, I will link all of the relevant videos in the description box below. Does that make sense? And I'll also link Darcy's channel as well, because please go over and support her. She's a very creative, creative person, and I love her to pieces. Right, let's take this out. If I can get this out. I'm sure I get this out. Come on. Right, anything left in the envelope? Oh, there is something left. Oh, look, I've got tissue. Right. Okay, tissue, loving that. I would say by the feel of this, this is wet strength tissue. Okay, good to keep that. Um, I've got a little box on the go where I'm putting um, off cuts and pieces of gel printed and stamped tissue and you'll find out why in June. So sorry to keep throwing that teaser out there, but you'll find out in June. So thank you for that, Darcy. And Darcy knows me well because she knows I love dragonflies. I like this piece here as well. Right, let me just tip it to me so I can see what it says inside. Oh, it doesn't say anything inside. Actually, that's fabulous. You never know, that might go onto the cover of the journal that I'm going to be making. So thank you for that, I love this. It's, I don't know whether you can see it on screen, but it's embossed. Actually, you can probably see it from this side. It's embossed, it's beautiful. I love embossing stuff, I don't do that enough and I've got enough embossers out there. Right, okay. All oh, right, Darcy Papers. Loving the grunge, always love the grunge. Okay. Ooh, I, I love this color combination. It's, um, I would say this is almost like a mulberry color, but I have a feeling this may have been created for one of the color combos because that could be raspberry, that could be teal, and that could be cream. And I think that was a colour combo. Love that, though. I may already be getting stuff to put into the journal. Oh, that's glorious. I love that. Is that a... Oh, it's a sticker. Sorry, had to tip it to see the reflection. I love that side as well. I would say that may be done with inks. I love this. I love this small... I wonder if that's a stamp or a stencil. I would say it's created in the style of a stencil, but I've got a feeling that might be a stamp. Loving that. Messy border bits. I love those. Darcy's just launched. Oh, good grief. What's it called? I can't think what it's called. Oh, wait, is this it here? No, it's not. Um, Darcy has just launched, let's take that off there and put this on my wall because I keep all sticky things, um, has just done like a border trim 
a stencil. I'll try and link that as well. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry, Darcy. There's so much stuff in this old brain of mine, but these are lovely. I, I use stuff like this a lot. So that's going to be good. Oh, let's move those to one side because we'll look at the goodies underneath. Okay. Peel a lot off there. Okay, Darcy says, Grun grungy mark making from a piece of foam I found on my water. Oh, I remember seeing this. Yes, um, it was a bit like a bit of packaging foam, styrofoam that Darcy picked up and she did. Oh, there's another one. Why are they stuck together? Hopefully I have just haven't unpeeled that shouldn't. Okay, love, I'm going to have, give me one second. Right, this is my basket that things are beginning to go into for the project I've got coming up. So this is the one I'm going to announce in June. So all of these pieces, I love that, that sewing pattern. I keep forgetting about sewing pattern. I use sewing pattern quite a lot. I like that. Okay, oh, hee <laughs> hee, love that. I love this colour combination. It's, it's almost like a damson or a plum or a, it's, I just love this colour combination. It's like, what's the other one I really like? I like pink and teal as well. Ooh, oh, I, I should know what that's called. It's something like Loopy Loops or something like that, I think that's called. Ooh. Now, if I remember right, this was done with a stencil that Darcy designed, inspired by, I seem to remember, Darcy said she was sitting in a living room and the sun was coming through the window. And, and I don't know whether you can pick it out, but there's leaves here, which I think I'll go upside down, leaves here. And this was inspired by the shadow on the wall behind the plant with the sun coming through. So see, you can find the inspiration anyway, guys. That's gorgeous. I love that color. That's gorgeous as well. Oh, it's that's why I got music paper. Oh, wait, let's see what that says. I can't read it. Have I got, I think I've got the small one of those. Again, I like these sort of things because as you know, I tend to, I'm playing still with watercolors. I'm trying to get better at them. And one of the things I like to do is I like to stamp in an archival ink and then paint the petals in, or I will do um, an embossed, as in embossing powder with a heat gun and make, make the flower and then paint them in. So I all do them over a background. Okay, music paper. Ooh, liking that. That's Peacock Swirls, isn't it? I think that's Peacock Swirls. Loving that. Oh, here we go. There's more of them. Oh, this is her feather one, too. This is her Art Nouveau wing stamp. It's a foam stamp. Now, sorry, it needs to go. Right, it stamps in one direction only, but if you do it on tissue paper, you will see it through the other side. So to make a pair of wings, you need to stamp it twice and then just turn one of the tissues over. If I was doing something like this, I would probably use something like gift wrap tissue, which is a lot more fragile, but it does mean that when you put it on with any sort of medium, um, the tissue disappears and you'll just have for the stamp design. Love that. Oh, here are more of these flowers. I can see I'm gonna be playing, aren't I? And more of the flowers. Tim Holtz tissues, Tim Holtz, is it? Sorry, just having a... Oh, Tim's tears in both directions really easily. Okay, I've got lots of little things. I think I will be using some of this stuff definitely in this envelope journal if I'm able to pull the envelope journal off. That feels like mixed media paper or watercolour paper. I like this. I want to say that it might be bubble wrap, but I'm not sure it is. I've got a feeling that might be something called Punchinella. Or that's what I know it as anyway. And it's it's like um, a strip with all of these holes in it. And it's what they make sequins out of. So it's sequin surplus. Loving that. 
Right, now we've got some treats. Okay, Forest Floor by Darcy, 5x7, like a nice 5x7. Oh, that's lovely. Have I got something that I can put this on that's... So you can see, I'll just use this. I think I'm going to make some prints and use them. Or maybe I'll make some prints onto envelopes and then make the envelopes into the journal. That's beautiful. What, how big that becomes. I'd like that in a bigger size as well, but at this scale, because I've got a feeling if this was scaled up, the pattern would stay the same, but I like this. If this could be, say, bigger with that. And I mean, I love this. I'm just, I'm thinking, it's the way my designer brain goes. So I will put a link to that one in the, in the description box below. And then there was one more, wasn't there? Oh, Peacock Swirls, maybe that's the one I just saw. It is the one I just saw, Peacock Swirls. And this again is five by seven. Everyone seems to think five by seven, so I've got some stuff stuck in it. Um, lots of people um, disregard the five by seven size. And I find this five by seven size stencil and the five by seven gel plate a really useful size. So I just need to pick some of these pieces out. If I don't pick them out now, they'll end up stuck on my gel plate. Yes, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out everything I own that is Darcy designed because I've got quite a few things Darcy designed. And I'm going to go through. This is the right way up, but that's the right way up. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to print, gel print onto envelopes. And then I'm going to make those envelopes into one of the no so um, envelope journals that Darcy made. Well, I'm going to hope to, but as I said, watching Darcy do it, Darcy was a bit bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, mm, not sure whether my brain is going to go there on that. So thank you very much, Darcy. Um, as I did say, this is going to be a short journal, um, a short video. What I will do, as I said, is I'm not going to get to that project immediately because I've got at least another seven videos to film before I'm anywhere near free enough to get to that um project but once it is done the links will be in the description box below i would imagine judging by the amount of work it's going to take it's probably going to be a further two videos and i think i'll be using some of these in here plus keeping some of these for my july project which i'm launching in june and, and I'm loving these. Thank you, Darcy. That was incredibly generous of you. I'm going to have so much fun creating these. Although I may be messaging you going, how the heck did you put the envelope journal together? Because knowing me, I'm going to make a complete hash of it. But you know what? That's a good thing. I'll make a hash and tell you how to get out of it. So until next time, guys, I'm Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I, the Crafter. Goodbye now.